Hello, and thanks for joining me for a hopefulest hot take. That's right. We are trying to change the conversation around women living in a patriarchy. In this week's podcast, I had discussed how there was a study done that it showed that teachers treated boys in their class differently than they treated girls. And predominantly what happened was when a boy would raise his hand and give an answer, even if it was wrong, the teacher would often say, okay, yeah, but, and then give the real answer. So what this does is gives the boy a little bit of positive reinforcement and it encourages him to continue to try. However, on the girl's side, often they were just told, no, that's not correct. And then they went to somebody else who had the correct answer. So a lot of these things we don't really even take notice of until we make sure to take notice of. Hopefully this has changed in the last I don't know how many years. I do see that that was likely the case when I was in school. And the ramifications of this are uh, long and they roll out for many years to come. Because what it ends up doing is it encourages the women, the girls, to not speak out, to not try, to um, not take a chance. Where, on the other hand, it encourages the boys to keep trying, to keep speaking out. And as time goes on, girls get quieter and quieter and boys get louder and louder. And this is just the setup of a patriarchal system. So ask your children about this if they are still at school age because ultimately what ends up happening is girls' ideas are often just completely dismissed by the boys in their class. Like if there's a group project or if they're batting around ideas for something that they want to do, Oftentimes, boys won't even listen to the girls' input because, one, they may never speak up that often, and two, this form of teaching reinforces that boys' opinions are more valuable than girls' opinions. And I want to show you this in real time, in real life. I saw a story on the news uh, last week or the week before, and it was a story about how two people going to the prom together were racing and this was um, a sprint I think it was like a hundred yard uh, hundred yard dash race and the girl had already broken every record in the state uh, when it came to the girls so they put her in this race against the boys and she ended up winning that race as well so the whole you know, point of the story was that this girl beat the guy who was taking her to the prom. That in itself, problematic. We need to stop stop saying taking her to the prom, taking her out on a date. Something you do together. They're going to the prom together. Um, I'm not going to get into that right now because that's a whole other ball game. But what I found to be interesting is at the end of this story, the news anchor said, you know, congratulations to the girl, uh, great job, well done. And then he says to the boy, and we think you're pretty special too, a winner in your own right. Do you see? That's exactly what I was just talking about. Now, the only reason this was even on the news is because a girl beat a boy. That's the only reason it was even covered. Otherwise... It wouldn't have even been a story. And the fact that they were going to the prom together, if he had beat her, not newsworthy. No big deal. Because that's how, in a patriarchal society, it's supposed to be. So the only reason it was even newsworthy was the fact that she beat her prom date in the 100-yard dash. So why is it that we had to pump up the boy at the end of it? Why is it that we had to say, you know what, you did a great job too. You're also a winner. How often do they do that with second place winners? How often do they do that 
when it comes to boys racing boys. They don't. They just don't. So again, when a woman bests a man, they still have to give that, that, that little nudge to the men saying, you know what, you're pretty special too. You're still a winner to us. But they wouldn't have done that in reverse. So it's just something for you to chew on and to think about over the weekend. And maybe you can start to look for other examples about how this plays out in life all the time. And once you start noticing these things, then you're going to realize this is why we need to change the conversation around patriarchy because these are things that we have never taken notice of before because it was just always the way it has always been. And that's what we're trying to change here. We're trying to change the conversation around the patriarchy so we can make things better for ourselves, but even more so better for our daughters and our granddaughters and generations of girls and women to come. So I hope you have a fantastic weekend. I thank you for tuning in and I will be dropping a new podcast episode on Monday morning and I hope to talk to you again then. Have a great weekend.